microRNA is a small 22 nucleotide regulatory RNAs that base pair with complementary messenger RNAs and function to suppress gene expression. We know of some of the core machinery in the cell that's responsible for making microRNAs, but how this is regulated, this is an important question that my lab aims to address. The nice thing about this cell paper is it, it's, it potentially can explain two previously reported phenomena. So the first is that when cells reach confluence, microRNA expression is enhanced in the confluent cells compared to the proliferating cells. The other observation is that in tumor cells, compared to their normal tissue, then you will see that there's a global suppression of microRNAs. And so we thought that perhaps these two phenomena may be linked, and that's what led us to look towards the HIPPO signaling pathway as a potential regulator of microRNA processing in cells. One of the pathways that my lab has been working on for several years now is this pathway, this biochemical cascade, this set of genes known as HIPPO. It basically stops the growth of your tissues once they have reached a predetermined size. And it does so through sequestering this protein called YAP. YAP is um, a pretty crucial protein. Then basically when YAP is unleashed, um, uh, the cell basically turns on its proliferative program and it grows and divides and duplicates. So one of the postdocs that came into my lab to work on HIPPO and growth regulation was also very interested in RNA biology. Other people had shown that microRNAs were also regulated by cell density. Obviously, this is one of the first critical observations that our postdoc Masaki had and allowed us to sort of start thinking about how HIPPO signaling could be connected to microRNA processing. I tried to clarify the role of microRNA biogenesis in the context of organ growth and tumor genesis. We identified P72, an RNA helicase, as a target protein of HIPPO signaling pathway to regulate microRNA biogenesis. At low density, right, in less crowding conditions, YAP is nuclear. YAP sequesters, kidnaps basically P72, which is important for microRNA processing. And so that at low density, microRNA production is lower. Whereas at high cell density, when YAP is out of the cytoplasm, when the cells are not growing, then P72 is released and then can bind to the microprocessor component of the microRNAs, and then these microRNAs are, are being produced more efficiently. In cancer, um, the HIPPO pathway can be perturbed such that cells no longer respond to the cell contact inhibition, and YAP is constitutively nuclear, and then this would lead to the global suppression of microRNAs that have been described in, in a wide variety of different tumors. And so what we think is happening is that there are key microRNA target genes, for example, CMYK, which is a known oncogene, which can be dysregulated and leading to elevated expression of these key oncogenes. With the laborious help of the lab members, we were able to see the suppression of microRNAs in mouse tumors induced by constitutive activation of YAP protein. The results recapitulated the finding in human cancers and our observations in vitro. I think this opens up a, a lot of avenues for future research. For example, would we be able to manipulate this pathway to be able to restore microRNA expression in cancer cells as a potential therapeutic? Our lab is trying to identify small molecules in other modulators of the HIPPO pathway. So the idea is that we'll be able to take a drug, to take a, a peptide perhaps, and be able, be, be able to give it to a patient so that uh, we can control, exogenously control the activity of YAP. We've been working on this for the last several years, probably about five or six years. And really the breakthrough came with having this joint postdoc with Fernando Camargo and having the interactions between two complementary labs. And so integrating, you know, some of the basic machinery that is responsible for microRNA processing and understanding how that can be dynamically regulated in different cellular contexts, I think that that's an area of active investigation that, you know, this is just perhaps one of the first examples of, of how cell signaling pathways can function to regulate microRNA expression. I think these data also open up the possibility that it's not only tumor cells, but perhaps it's highly proliferative cells, perhaps it's stem cells, perhaps, perhaps progenitors in a regenerative uh, setting that actually um, globally uh, repress microRNA production. An area of investigation to pursue is to really try to understand whether, whether microRNA processing is also selectively downregulated in those conditions of regeneration or just very, very rapid growth. And we were looking into this. Yeah.